Professor Robert J. Dirksen here. I'm talking to you about assigning S or R to asymmetric carbons. So let's look at a couple of other examples. These are examples from peripheral nervous system drugs. Okay, so we just solved the uh, two cases up above. So you can see the final answer. And the ChemBioDraw software can conveniently show that that one is R and this one is S indicated in parentheses below the carbon. Now let's look at some other examples. Here we have a molecule, I hate to say the name of it, but it's dexmedetomidin. Anyway, you can see the name right there. So, consider where is the asymmetric carbon, first of all. So, it's sort of easy if you just look for these wedges, but sometimes you won't notice them. Notice this is an aromatic group over here, so the only asymmetric carbon is this one right here. This is also an aromatic group over on this side. So this carbon has three substituents shown, and it happens that the hydrogen is the fourth group. It's the fourth priority group, and it's in the back. So this should be a straightforward case. We need to assign the priority to the three substituents that are shown. Methyl group will take the lowest priority. And this is a carbon here. This is a carbon here. So we have to move another step away. If we do the second step, we see that here we have a nitrogen as well as a double bond to a carbon. Whereas on this side, we just have carbons as the connectors to this carbon. So this nitrogen, according to the kahn ingold prelog rules, takes priority over the carbons. And indeed, this functional group here, the substituent, is the top priority one. Second priority, third priority. We're moving in a counterclockwise direction, so this is S for dex metatomine. And this dex part has to do with the man, um, observed um, effects of this single enantiomer drug. Okay, now let's look over to another case from the peripheral nervous system drugs. This is epinephrine, also an endogenous compound in the human body that's important for the peripheral nervous system. So we look and see, oh look, there's just one asymmetric carbon right here. Notice it has an oxygen bonded directly to it, and the other atoms in the other directions are carbons. So this oxygen Canadian group will be the top priority. The hydrogen not shown is the fourth priority group, and it will be in the front in this case. So what can we do? First of all, assign the priority to the other two groups. This carbon is here, and if we move one step away, we see a nitrogen in this direction and two hydrogens up here not shown. And this carbon here it has bonds to carbons, three other bonds to carbon. But this bond to nitrogen takes priority, so this is the second priority group. So we have first priority group, second priority group, third priority group. It seems that that is a counterclockwise rotation, so that would be S if this group were coming out. But considering it's going back into the page, therefore, this is an R configuration. We can scroll down and see the final answer then epinephrine R and this dex compound with a complicated name S.